Afternoon, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Tuesday's trading session, the fifteenth of November, two thousand and sixteen. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Okay, now let's um, certainly look into the markets today. Just bringing you a mid-afternoon update in terms of the Asian markets. Certainly, were lackluster and certainly weaker. Um, it's certainly showing. Uh, a lack of continuation, of lack of follow through, especially given the fact that uh, we basically have the US markets under pressure. So let's just bring up the uh, the actual uh, data points here. So you have the uh, Shanghai closing negative, the Aussie market closing negative, the Nikkei closing negative, and you have the Hang Seng certainly sl slightly rising. Okay, so that was this picture out in Asia uh, overnight. No real economic data that was, that was market moving. Okay, we had Mr. Lacker speaking and Mr. Williams, and they were both hawkish. And that's one of the reasons why we're seeing a spike in the dollar and the Aussie and Kiwi certainly making new lows versus the dollar. Uh, we had um, a potential news from Saudi and uh, or a third party trying to broker an agreement between Saudi and Iran, which obviously has helped the price of oil. If I bring up the price of oil, although having said that, technically oil prices were certainly over, over, oversold regardless and we're certainly expecting a rebound. As you can see here on the daily chart, we certainly bounced off this horizontal support. So uh, certainly have pushed higher though, although having said that, we have actually come into gap fill. So again, um, certainly need to exercise some caution uh, from my perspective. So you're looking at a potential stalling here, especially with the dollar uh, index uh, moving to new highs. Okay, that certainly is a factor. Okay, that certainly helped the uh, the actual FTSE this morning. Uh, the other factor that helped the FTSE this morning was the uh, the actual earnings from Vodafone. That's something that I underestimated. I was actually stopped out of my trade on the, on the FTSE 100 for my uh, shorts. Uh, and uh, certainly the FTSE hitting a pivot high of 6820. So Vodafone certainly helping the markets this morning. We had all the earnings as well that was certainly on the negative side. Uh, we had uh, land securities. We've had German GDP weaker than expected. We've had German data weaker overall. Uh, certainly um, concerns for Italy and Mr. Renzi, whether or not uh, what happens to that going forward. Italian referendum, obviously uncertainty going into 4th of December. So certainly seems to be a lot of uh, bearish news uh, again like i said mr kaplan was hawkish easyjet profits certainly tumble as well so numerous arguments for a move lower but the market certainly has remained resilient and as like i said we can certainly see that the dollar index certainly is pushing higher if i bring up the chart of the aussie you can see here we've had one hell of a flush on the aussie to new lows okay so again indicating weakness there same with the kiwi as well indicating uh, a uh, dollar strength so Again, it'll be interesting to see how the dollar trades and how the dollar reacts, okay? Uh, in terms of uh, the technicals now, let's just bring the chart up for you again. Daily chart, you can see the FTSE 100, sorry, the German DAX certainly paused. 60-minute chart, we have this uh, concept of uh, lower highs uh, at the moment. Certainly seems that the German DAX wants to push lower down to the 200 MA, down to 10,600. So watch out for that 10,600 level below. 10 minute chart on German DAX, we have held gap fill, so certainly close gap fill, uh, certainly close the gap on the uh, on the uh, downside, uh, and it'll be interesting to see whether or not we can sustain the move low. We've had a short squeeze of the pivot, pivot low, which was 10,670, it'll see. It'll be interesting to see where the market goes next, okay? In terms of the FTSE 100, let's just bring up the FTSE for you, the daily chart still remains bearish, you're within that to consolidate, within that red candle, looking for the next potential move lower. Okay, so bear that in mind. 60 minute chart. You were, I, well, I was certainly expecting a, a rally in the back of obviously uh, the weaker inflation numbers today. I certainly expected a rally, but Mr. Carney came out quite sounding very hawkish and uh, forecasting inflation to rise and saying that he'd tolerate a rise in inflation, etc. 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 So, certainly has sent the FTSE lower. Okay, uh, certainly has negated the Vodafone uh, bullish news and the bullish news from, uh, from the oil. Uh, debt oil uh, potential uh, market as well so it'll be interesting to see exactly how, how the market operates so given the fact also that you got the aussie and kiwi languishing at the lows uh, although having said that the euro certainly has fallen as well thereby providing a potential stimulus so it really is a 50 50 trade right now in terms of uh, the fx market given the fact that uh, the dollar just fails to uh, uh, to put in a potential high, it just keeps moving higher. So again, a stronger dollar does actually hurt equities, so bear that in mind. And uh, therefore, I am looking for a risk aversion move. Okay, so FTSE 100, 60 minute chart, you can clearly see where we stand. The 10 minute chart really has held the previous resistance equal support and has actually bounced off there. 
Uh, how far it bounces, how long it bounces is a different question altogether. Uh, something that we certainly will need to uh, potentially uh, discuss. So uh, for now, I'd say the FTSE has bounced off 6775. Okay, so again, we shall uh, certainly uh, have to observe this. Although having said that, like I said, you have Vodafone earnings certainly helping the FTSE. You have uh, Saudi OPEC news again helping the FTSE to a large extent. Okay, but we have the Nasdaq and the uh, S&P 500 now into resistance. So really, we are going into the U.S. session. The U.S. session will actually dictate the next move in the, in the markets themselves. Looking at the French CAC, let's have a look here. Okay, so I was expecting the uh, the bear flag to flush below 4500 down to 4660, 4670. That hasn't transpired. So the French CAC certainly is holding in there. 60-minute chart at the moment. You still have low lows or highs. And there's nothing stopping the market from retesting the previous low. So again, markets remain vulnerable, okay, and looking for risk aversion. Please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.